Don't stop believing. Welcome to another video. Today we are playing goatees with Grand Theft Goatees because we're trying to steal our opponent's monsters to use to synchro summon. Now, how am I doing that? Well, just stick around and I'll show you right now. We just got a basic goatee hand we're going to go first. We're going to lifeless leaf us, send shift to the graveyard. And we don't have our special trick yet, but just you wait. I'm sure it'll be here soon. All right. Set the imperm. Let opponent go. Now, what are we using to steal our opponent's monsters? Grand Theft Auto style. Well, we're using a new trap. And it's not new, actually. In fact, it's very old. Opponent. Hold on a second. Right in the middle of explaining, opponent's starting to do things. I'll be in the Shroud Dragon. Going to send a... I'll be into the graveyard to draw a card. So we're going to fire off Maxi right now. In case opponent draws an Ash Blossom or Call by the Grave. Opponent gets to draw a new card. All right. Maxi live. Opponent going to battle. Very tricky. Okay. We can only activate these goatees in the main phase. So by going to battle, summoning the Druid Swarm, opponent dodging our shift. So opponent going to attack. Giving us a card, though. Attack straight into the shift, meaning we don't have any plays here. Opponent in main phase two, summoning the Blazing Cartesia. They can activate a quick effect to fusion summon. Setting three back row. Very frightening. All right. Let's get drawn. Draw here. Again, a Ash Blossom. All right. Not the card we're looking for. We're trying to do Grand Theft Auto things. Well, let's banish the shift from the graveyard. Normal summon the Zep. Opponent trying to activate their Blazing Cartesia to fusion summon. We are going to negate. Negate with the Imperm. Imperm negate opponent activating branded opening to discard a card's special summon a despia monster We are going to deny that with the ash blossom. Is that greedy? Okay, deny the branded fusion, but we're going to deny it We're going to deny it deny that Cartesia deny that branded opening It's synchro summoning time Let's synchro Shokan into the Ariane post Ariane post gonna banish from the deck the paces are right now Let's crash in that Cartesia Opponents got two set back row. They got their Druid Swarm. We got Maxi. We got Imperm. But we're still trying to do Grand Theft Auto things. Where is our Grand Theft Auto card? All right. Paces come back. Shift come back. We got Synchro plays. Opponent Brand of Fusion. Maxi, give us the cards we need. Now, you know how I feel about Maxi. It's a terrible card. But right now, we're using it to draw our very specific combo piece. Opponent not going for the Lubellion, going straight into a Titan Clad. Titan clad unaffected by activated monster effects summoned during, from the extra deck. So that means we can't banish it with our Azcan. So opponent giving us a card and here it is. Synchro material. Target a face up card monster your opponent controls. You can use that monster as a synchro material this turn as if you controlled it. And you can't conduct your battle phase the turn you activate. But that's not going to matter because we're going to do it on our opponent's turn using our goatees. So if opponent has an 8 on the field we activate this Activate this card. Use our shift with an 8. That's a deep beyond. Opponent has other wacky monsters on the field. They got a level 6. That's an ash can. Now we can only summon fish. So we got to make sure opponent summons the right levels for us. We'll save that for next turn. All right. Ash can. Activate. Ariane post in the graveyard. Activate. Ash can. Banish one of their set back row. Opponent hitting us with call by the grave. Negating the effect of our Ariane post to search. All right. Very clever opponent. Very clever, but can you can stop that? But can you th stop our Grand Theft Auto? As can banish. Ariane post negated. As can gonna come back, banish the shift, so we get set up for next turn. Shift's gonna come back. Let us use that synchro material. We're gonna banish the field next with our paces. Banish. Now it's not gonna affect the Titan Clad, so we're gonna negate the Titan Clad first. But opponent's last card was branded in red. All right, maybe we got a little greedy. We could have saved this. Did not need to activate. Could have used it to negate the branded using that imperm column trick, but made a bit of a mistake here. All right. Branded and red going to get that Albion back to hand. They're going to immediately fusion summon. Stealing their own monster to make Draco Sapelia. All right. That is bad news. Although we do get a card thanks to Maxi. Because opponent is going to be able to negate our Deep Beyond. And Deep Beyond is not thick enough to block the Draco Sapelia. Meaning. It's going to get smashed, get sent to the graveyard. Are we in trouble? Is Goatees? We came here to steal our opponent's monsters, but maybe our opponent is too powerful. The, the police, the Grand Theft Auto police are going to stop us from stealing. They're sending our go to the beyond of the graveyard, attacking us. 2,500. Ending the turn. Passing back to us. All right. Well, 
We got our synchro material. We got an imperm. We got lifeless sleep fish. We got paces. We just got to set up. Shift onto the field. Let's activate in the graveyard the effect of the lifeless sleep fish because we only have one copy of Deep Beyond. So we're going to shuffle into the graveyard or back into the deck. Our Deep Beyond, our As Can, draw a card. Trap trick, all right? I wanted to maximize the number of copies of Synchro Material. That means we're running three Synchro Materials, three Trap Tricks, because I'm maxing out on this, all right? I'm in fully invested. Normal summon the Lifelessly Fish. Opponent, activating Brand of Beast. Popping, all right? We wanted this, okay? We wanted them to pop a card we control and not pop our Synchro Material. We need Synchro Material to live. All right, let's send Shift to the graveyard. Activate Shift. Shift going to come back. Let's set Triple Back Row. Opponent. So you remove Opponent activating... Maxi, all right, shift, come back. Opponent only gets one card. Opponent going to battle. Now, it would be smart to just let our opponent crash into our shift. Wait till our turn to do this so we don't give our opponent cards with Maxi, but I can't resist the urge, all right? Synchro material, target, the Dracos Apelia. Dracos Apelia gonna try and negate the goatee, but it's not gonna work, because we got imperm, imperm negate. Synchro summon Deep Beyond using their own monster. And opponent not gonna let us do it. They are rage quitting. The police coming to stop us from stealing. We were this close. All right, stick around because I'm sure we can get our theft to work. Let's go on to the next game. All right, we got another great hand. We got our synchro material ready, but opponent is going first and they are setting for back row. All right, so we got to be extra careful. Let's draw. We got to get our synchro material plan to work. Let's activate our Supe Dustwalker in hand. Opponent hitting us with the Ash Blossom. I'm going to negate the Supe's effect. Immediately responding with a Welcome Labyrinth. They're going to summon the Lady Labyrinth. Is this the end for Goatees? Going second. Well, Lovely Lady is a level 8. So that is potential. That is potential. Now, things I hate to see. Xe Monsters and Link Monsters. Those do not enable us to use synchro material. All right, and, and don't add me in the comments and say things like, hey, um, you know, you could be using Crackdown. Crackdown lets you just steal the monster instead of uh, synchro material, just letting you use it for a synchro summon. And you know what? I say to those people that that card is a UR and I cannot afford it. Lifelessly Fish, send the shift to the graveyard if you love this sort of content. Make sure to subscribe. Opponent, compulsing, all right, compulsing. Our silent angler back to the hand, popping our fish. They probably think... We're out of this. We have no monsters to synchro summon with. Opponent doesn't know. We're going to use their own monsters. Immediately activate in the standby phase. Opponent sets a back row. That gives us priority to synchro summon into the deep beyond. Opponent banish all cards on the field. Their whole set back row is gone. And opponent is out of here. We did it. We stole their car and they do not like it. Let's go on to the next game. All right. Now, one of the cards I'm running this deck, Ready Fusion. Ready Fusion, great card, cuz. It lets us use monsters from our extra deck. We can either get a level 2 tuner or a level 6. But uh, two of them, not great. Only one per turn. So we're going to have to pass. We're setting our synchro material so we can use it on our next turn. Maxi, carry us into the win. Opponent, Supply Squad, summoning a Rika Princess. All right, Maxi, give us a card here. Rika's often spam summon quite a bit. So let's see. If we can draw enough pieces, be tuneful. At least let's just do plays on our next turn. Lifeless, also pretty good. All right, let's start with the lifeless. Uh, opponent hitting it with breakthrough skill. Breakthrough skill going to negate DNA surgery, changing all our monsters to plant. That is extremely rude, but I think we can play through it. Lifeless negated. All right, let's use the ready fusion to get from the extra deck our tuner, Alvain, Essence of Vanity. Activate Synchro Material targeting their Ricka Princess so we can go straight into a level 10 Synchro using their monster. Make the Baron Fleur pop their DNA Surgery. We got Baron Negate. An opponent can't take it. We stole their ride and they are out of here. The rage quits are real when you steal your opponent's monsters. Let's go on to the next game. All right. On to the next game. Now, we got another Synchro Material. This is what I love to see. And we are going first, which means we get to set up. All right, we're going to do the ultimate play. Synchro summon Ariane Post. Banish the paces. Banish the shift from the graveyard. Set our synchro material. We got so many plays for our opponent's turn. And like I've been saying, opponents do not like their monsters getting stolen. In fact, the number of times I was playing and 
people just gave up right about the time when I activate synchro uh, material before their monster even gets stolen was extremely hilarious. All right, opponent summoning the egg. We cannot let that egg get sent to the graveyard. We're gonna banish it with Azcan. Azcan banish the egg, banish itself. Search with the Arian post. Classic goatee plays. Draw that Arian post. Get the Snopios to hand. Azcan banish a fish from the graveyard. Set up the shift for our next turn. Come back to the field. Opponent. Mausoleum triggering the Maiden. Maiden. Again triggered. Summoning a Blue Eyes. And what level is Blue Eyes? Blue Eyes is level 8. Now, I know it is strictly probably more correct to banish their Blue Eyes, use our own monsters, send our Azkan to the graveyard, but I can't resist. I cannot resist stealing my opponent's ride. Opponent. Synchro material targeting the Blue Eyes. Synchro summon with the paces. An opponent can't even take it. <laughs> They're not going to wait. <laughs> not going to let us synchro with their own monsters. Rage quit with the Blue Eyes. All right, let's go on to the next game. All right. We are. Going second, but we have the ultimate goatee thing. Goatee going second plays. We can do a turn zero play with Snopios right now. We can summon, our opponent's going first, but we can banish two fish from our hand to summon the Snopios. Maybe it'll mess our opponent up. Usually not worth it, but you never know. Opponent, Star Liege. Sending a Star Liege to get Rocket Recharger. Opponent, summoning the Striker Dragon. Striker Dragon going to add Boot Sector Launch. All right, opponent going to Wombo Combo, but we got we to gotta play. We can interrupt him. Opponent, summoning Black Dragon Collapse Serpent. When this card is sent to the graveyard, it searches for the White Dragon Wyvern bur Burster. And if we mess up our opponent's call Collapse Serpent, they, they might not know how to combo. Let's break our opponent's brain here. Target it with the Snopios. Now it gets sent to the Banish Zone instead of the graveyard, so it's not going to search. Opponent gets a Dragoonity Knight, adding to hand the Dragon Ravine. They're going to discard to send Lubellion to the graveyard. Activate Boot Sector. Get their two monsters here. But their combo plays, it's not what they wanted. It's been messed up. Opponent popping to summon another monster. They got so many plays, making the Chaos Ruler. Activating the Chaos Ruler. Sending a bunch of cards to the graveyard. Activating the Lubellion to get the Magnemut. And giving up Opponent. Giving up the Snopios caused their connection to fail. This is the this is the level of goatee plays that you love to see. Let's go on to the next game. All right, we got the trap trick. We are going first. Let's be tunaful. Tuna, get negated by Ash Blossom. All right, that is not ideal. But we have Snopios in hand with a Zep. So if we draw one more fish with this Maxi, we'll be doing plays on the opponent's turn. Let's set our trap trick. Pass to the opponent. Opponent, what are you doing, opponent? Beast King of the Swamp, not going to special summon. Maxi not doing anything. This has got to be some sort of tier limits deck list. Love the sushi platter, though. Let's draw. Draw on a shift, and this is great. But do we play right now? No, we don't play right now. We play on our opponent's turn. We can activate our Zep. Let's pass to the opponent. Uh, opponent. Tribute summoning the Druid Swamp. All right, we're going to activate this right now. Synchro material. Set it. Activate the Snopios. Snopios triggering the Zep, targeting the Druid Swarm. So when we Synchro Summon using it, it's going to get banished. Zep come back. Opponent and targeting the Zep with the Imperm. I'm going to stop us from Synchro Summoning. All right, we were going to activate. Now, this is something you should be aware of, all right? If you activate your fish, Chain Link 1, because you have another monster on the field you can use, you can use your Synchro Material in response to the effect of your monster. That means... When it resolves, you'll be able to synchro using your opponent's monster. But if you don't have anything else to synchro with on your side of the field, you have to activate this first, wait for it to resolve, then activate your fish. Just things to be aware of. Opponent, crashing into our Snopios. Not aware of what's about to happen. Let's draw. Drawn into the Butuniful. Shift coming back. It's time. Steal our opponent's monster to synchro summon. We stole their ride. Get the Excel Synchro Stardust. Target level 2 in the graveyard opponent trying to hit us with the Imperm. I do not think so. Excel Stardust dodge. We got the Stardust Dragon to dodge. Targeted effects. Summon the Stardust Dragon. Get our level 2 back. Immediately Synchro Summon into Baronda Fleur. Get our level 2 back on the field. Summon the Butuniful. 
get a level four, synchro summon Ariane posts, and a pawn it doesn't want to see anymore. They have been stolen, and they are out of here. Let's do one more game. All right, one final game with our beautiful synchro material play. Let's summon the lifeless leaf fish. Sand shift to the graveyard. Shift, banish itself. Summon the supe. Get the supe combo. Get that Arian post. Banish the paces. Now we got both our tuners coming back. We got synchro material to steal our opponent's monsters. We got maxi, the toxic cockroach opponent. What can you do? What is opponent up to? Six cards in hand. Waifu sleeves. It's Skulker Bad Joker. They're playing pendulums. That's Maxi. Hit him with the cockroach. All right. Now we could, and it, it is so hard. It is so hard. This is just like when you play Grand Theft Auto, and it is so hard to resist the urge to commit crimes. I want to commit crimes right now. I want to steal my opponent's monster with the synchro material, but sometimes you got to wait. You got to be responsible, okay? Don't don't just whip it off whenever you can. You got to wait. Opponent, wait till it's the right time. Opponent getting odd eyes, Persona Dragon. Activating. Setting their scales. Okay, they got a one and they got an eight. All right, we're just going to be responsible here, and we're going to banish. We're not going to steal. We're not going to steal. We're going to banish just the one pendulum scale. Synchro summon. As can. Banish the high scale. All right. Opponent. Your high scale is banished. Uh, opponent. Scale's gone. We're going to get our Snopios back. As can. Going to return to the field. And we could immediately make our deep beyond. Opponent has more plays though. Spiral strike. Going to search. Get the exact same card. All right. So now what I should do here, what I should do, the responsible play, all right, is to wait till our opponent does their pendulum summon, vomits their monsters onto the field, and then activate our stealing play. All right. Or just wait till our opponent does another special summon. All right. So they have less resources to work with before we wipe the whole field. But I am, I'm not, I'm not here to be patient. I see the chance to steal and I'm not going to waste any more time. Let's activate paces. Activate. The synchro material, and we don't even need to do this, all right? We could just use our ASCAN, but I'm going to I'm gonna do this right now because I can't resist the crime, the crime, the urge to crime. Steal their monster, make the deep beyond. Banish everything on the field. Banish their scales. They got three cards left. They haven't used their, they have not got their normal summon left, but opponent, Duelist Alliance, and another scale, searching for a Pendulum Call, discarding, to get a harmonizing magician opponent and a perform for a celestial opponent is just living their best life. All right, we thought we banished the whole field, deleted their scales, but they still got it. Summoning two monsters. Now, the opponent probably forgot they're under max C, so we are drawing a billion cards. Opponent making Baron de Fleur. Baron de Fleur, all right, going to battle. Hitting us for big damage. Let's activate Snopios, because we got fish in the graveyard. We're going to banish our graveyard fish. Summon the Snopios, but opponent. Using their one Baranage on the Snopios. Not going to let us summon. We got the Synchro Material. We could steal again. The Fable Double Steal. Is it possible? Let's draw. Beautiful. Deep Eon comes back. Deep Eon back on the field. Alright, and then there's no way we get lethal here. Shift come back. Paces come back. Opponent activating their Baran to summon a monster from the graveyard. Now we could stop this with Call by the Grave, but I don't want to. Because opponent targeted the odd eyes, and, and that means, you know, we can actually, we have our deep beyond on the field, so we can't even use that. Uh, I'm just going to let go, though. Let's save this for something like a maxi. Let's be tuneful. Get ourselves another normal monster. But opponent not waiting. We were going to pop their monsters, let them do their, their pendulum summon, and then steal again. But opponent just giving up, not letting us do the second steal. Second steal. Fabled second steal. Is it possible? You let me know if you can if you can achieve that goal. Let's go on to the deck list. All right, here is the deck. Here is Grand Theft Goatee. And as, as you can see, we're running triple synchro material. We're running triple trap trick. And in the extra deck, just key things, all right? We got a white or a monoceros, and we got a ravenous croco dragon. And both of these are here so we can use our opponent's monsters that are weird levels, like five, level fives and, you know, level sevens. We can steal and use them to synchro summon our fish because you got to synchro summon fish with the goatees. Let's go through the deck list. Supe, Butuniful at one, triple maxi, double paces, double shift, double zep, double ash blossom, 
We got Silent Angler. We got Lifeless Leaf Fish at three. We got Triple Supe Duskwalker. We got Single Abyss Shark. We got two Snopios. We got Ready Fusion at two. We got two Call Buys. We got Cross Out Designate. This is our Max C Deletion Package. And also, Cross Out, you can banish your goatees. Don't forget. We already talked about three synchro material. We got triple evenly matched. We're going second. We got triple imperm. And why are we running triple imperm? Because we got trap trick. Trap trick can search imperm as well as our synchro material. Got to keep that versatility. All right. In the extra, we got Alvain. We got Roaring Ocean Snake. We got Arian Post at two. We got White Aura Monoceros. We got Stardust Dragon. We got White Aura Whale. We got XL Synchro Stardust. We got Azcan at two. We got Ravenous Krogo Dragon. We got Baron. We got Chungus. We get Goatee the Deep Beyond, and we have a Stealth Kragen. I hope you liked today's video. If you did enjoy it and you got this far, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good night.